Uh, and time for us to talk about game two and what lies ahead for both teams. Uh, we have five questions, five carefully crafted questions for the mm. two of you to answer in great detail okay. about game two. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, question number one. Is game two a must win for the Cavaliers? I don't think it is, no. I think what's important is they have to play well. It has to be a close game. They can't lose in, in a blowout game. They have to play this team well and at least feel good about themselves going home for game three in a win or a loss. But I won't say it's a must win, even though Golden State has won uh, the last five games right. against them, maybe six games against them in a row. It is not a must win for Cleveland. I'm going to go the other way, Matt, and say yes is a must game because Golden State has found their stride. They don't want to go down 0-2. I know most teams say, well, they did what they were supposed to do in winning the whole games. Now, to your point, Grant, if it's a blowout, now you're going back to the queue asking your fans to bring the same Oracle as they bring in Oracle to get a game win in three. I'm not saying it's impossible, but if teams are down 0-2 in the NBA Finals are 3-31. and or 3-28, and 28, excuse me. It's not good. In those series. It's not very good. <laughs> That's exactly right. Question number two. Coming off 20 points combined for Clay and Steph in game one, their lowest total the last two seasons. Will they make a splash in game two? Oh, yes, they will. There's no way they're going eight for 27 again. You see the weather today. It's overcast, so everything is building up now, Grant. It will be raining tomorrow night in Oracle, Oracle as they say. There's no way uh, Cleveland Cavaliers are going to keep these two guys shooting the way they shot the other night. Yes, the bench got all the credit, but I think these guys get back hot again. I have to agree with you, 3D, 100%. These guys right here, they didn't play well. They didn't shoot the ball well. Expect them to come out hitting the shots that we've seen them do the last two, three years here in the NBA, and particularly in the playoffs thus far in 2016. So uh, they dodged a bullet, managing to win a game with their two best players not playing well. They'll play well tomorrow. Question number three is about number 23 in wine and gold, or blue as they were in game one, <laughs> right. LeBron James. Does LeBron James need to become 2015 finals? LeBron James I think so I think so I think LeBron needs to be aggressive the ball needs to be in his hands he needs to get into the paint and really dictate and set things set the stage for his teammates he played about as well as he could possibly play last year just didn't have enough help now he's got more help but he's got to set the tone yeah I'm, I'm stuck on this one with this one because I think he needs to be more aggressive but he showed us in closing out Toronto he got the rest of his teammates involved uh, J.R. Smith, I think one three-pointer made. Uh, Chandler Fry only played seven minutes, so I think it has to be a mixture of 2015, but make sure everyone else is involved. All right, and that leads us neatly to question number four. Will the Cavaliers utilize isolation less in game two? They have to. The way Golden State plays defense, the way they keep all five sets of eyes on Kyrie or LeBron James going one-on-one. -on -one. So you viewers at home, watch how the defense is playing these possessions right here. No cutters, no movement. It's a lot of dribbling, Grant. So they got to get better ball movement if they want to beat this team in game two. And 3D, that's what they did to get to this point. In the Eastern Conference playoffs, ball movement, moving the ball from side to side, quick hitters, not you know, long, long possessions, handling the ball one on one. Golden State, too good of a defensive team, and they switch. They make you go ISO. Mm -hmm. You got to move the ball and get quick hitters. All right, question number five. As you know, in game one, the Cavaliers bench was outscored by 35. Can they match the Cavaliers, or excuse me, the Warriors, or come closer to it in game two? I think they have to, Matt, from the, from the previous question. If the ball movement's there, if you can get some stops and get out and run. You hold, you've heard Coach Ty Lue talk about pace. Not so much they want to get out and get quick shots. They want to get stops, get the ball over half court, and explore and see if they can get some easy shots. That's where Channing Fry, that's where J.R. Smith, guys like that. And even Delva Dover coming off the bench, when he turns that corner in the pick and roll, his little floater shots have to go in. Not say they have to get 40 uh, some points like Golden State did, but at least get half to it. Yeah, I don't know if they can match Golden State's bench, but they have to play better. And they've done that throughout the postseason production from the bench who we all were marveling at with Cleveland was the, the balance that they had and the depth that they had in the playoffs. They didn't show that there in game one so expect some adjustments here in game two and getting more production from the bench. Well, some of that is just reverting back to the mean as well. Sean Livingston had 20 points on 8 of 10 shooting in game one. That's the most he scored all season long. You don't expect that for the rest of the series. And you're right. He had 11 field goals made 
throughout the whole Western Conference playoffs. Right. He made eight field goals hey. in game one. You don't expect that, but it's a matchup situation. Better matchup, smaller guards on yep. the perimeter for Cleveland. Sean Livingston taking advantage. I just like the fact that Sean Livingston stayed in his lane, which is get to my sweet spot mm -hmm. around the elbow area and shoot my shot. Not a layup, not a three-pointer like my counterparts do. I know what I do best, use my size. And shoot over guards like That's they're not right. even there because he doesn't know <laughs> like they're six inches shorter than he is. <laughs>